the true value of gifting is the sentiment behind it. Hello there! Today, let's discuss a little about gifting. According to me, any gift, be it for birthdays, anniversaries, Diwali, Christmas or New Year, the gift should definitely have a personal touch to it. There is no point in going to a shop, choosing a random present, asking them to gift wrap it for you, adding a best wishes card to it. A little effort here will definitely go a long way. There should be joy in gifting. The value never matters, only the thought and the effort behind it does. When I say adding a personal touch to gifting, it can be anything. From gift wrapping it on your own, to curating the gift hamper, to making handmade gifts. It's up to you. The best part is, you don't have to be crafty to do any of this because the beauty of handmade lies in its imperfection. I'm on my way to meet my sister-in-law because it's her birthday today. Here are some things that I bought for her and I'm going to make a gift hamper with them. The first thing that I did was to make a mental note as to what she likes, what she dislikes, what she already has and what she needs. Her closet is full of western wear and branded goodies. So I wanted to buy something off-beat for her this time. I saw this beautiful peach salva material in a boutique called Mylal. I knew it would suit her and it is also something which she doesn't have in abundance. Next up is this amazing blue silver sequence book. She is in college and I thought it might come in handy for her to note her assignments. My god, she is a wonderful artist and I bought this mini canvas for her to paint on. For any girl, no number of accessories is a lot of accessories. So of course I bought her this earring. This is a bendy that she can use to style her hair. Bendies never go out of fashion and are extremely useful to style the hair in different ways. Both of us love headbands. So this one captured my eye when I went shopping on that particular day. So of course I bought it. She adores anything associated with the tortoise. I saw this at the Kalakshetra Foundation and immediately bought them for her because I knew she would love it. <laughs> the last bit is supposed to be a funny element. I bought these from a Tiruvira. These are miniature utensils, also called as Chopusaman. Here, I am trying to imply that she is fast growing up and it will soon be time for her to start a family. This hamper is not very sophisticated and many of you here can do a much much better job than this. But as I kept saying, it has got a little bit of me to it and that's what makes it special. They say, small things when done with love becomes great. I'm sure all the effort that I put into this will be worth it when I see that twinkle in her eyes and smile on her lips. I think my gift is almost ready to go. But wait, let me add some fairy dust to it. Thanks for watching my video guys. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, I strongly recommend that you do so. And please leave your feedback in the comment section below. Until we meet with our next video, See you, bye.